Do you know what the best accessories are in Blocks Fruits? Whether you're a brand new player and need to know what accessories are good for grinding, or if you're a sweaty pro that just needs to know what's good for PvP, don't trip, Chocolate Chip. I got you. The king of tier lists is back and ready to make a brand new juicy one for you guys. So if you're new here, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe on the video because we're going to do a face reveal at 1 million. And I know you guys are thinking, enough yapping and let's get into the tier list. Here on this list, I have every single accessory in the game, including a few accessories you can't can't even get anymore. Make sure to watch this entire video because there is one item on this list that is insanely rare to get and it was actually deleted from the game. But we'll talk more about that later. Starting off with the first item, the Bear Ears Cape. The Bear Ears Cape give you 10% bonus damage resistance and 500 energy. For a third C item, that's pretty underwhelming, so that's going straight into the trash tier. Huh? If you didn't notice already, all these tiers here have different meanings. We got the God tier, which is going to be the best in the game. Good is, of course, just going to be pretty good to use overall. Mid is something you kind of want to stay away from, and first C items are first C items. It's something you should only use in the first C. And of course, trash tier is items you just don't even want to use. There's no point. It gets outranked by every other item in this list. But since this list is pretty overwhelming, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and just throw the first C items in the first C tier. The first C items are going to be this pink coat, the black cape, the secret coat, the swordman hat that you get from the desert island, tomo ring that you get from sky islands, Usopp's hat, then you also got the marine hat. Last but not least, the cool shades. These cool shades right here are probably the best items you can get here in the first C. I'm not gonna go over every single detail here in the first C about these items, but I do want to show you the cool shades. Look at those stats, boys. You get 7.5% all damage, 17.5% bonus movement speed, an extra 100 energy, and 100 health. The only downside to that, it is the last item you actually unlock in the first C. You huh? unlock it by killing the last boss. So here's a pro tip if you're just starting out and grinding. If you have a friend that's a higher level than you, call him up and ask him to help kill the boss with you known as Cyborg. Get the item drop and you will have a great time grinding. Now let's talk about the bandanas. So there's actually three different colors. There's the green one here, the red one here, and the black one over here in this corner that you can barely see. There's something really funny about all three of those bandanas. If we take a look at the wiki, they all do the same exact thing. They're just different colors. It has a lot of things under its belt. It's got bonus movement speed, melee damage, sword damage, gun damage, and energy, right? But unfortunately, it gets outranked here in the third C pretty easily. You don't see people using it in the third C for a good reason. So because it's really bad, you guys know where these are going. The bandanas are going straight into the trash tier. Oh, don't worry. They don't stop there. The tiers get even worse. Huh? Remember how I just showed you those stats are basically the same and those are just different color bandanas? Don't worry. The Bloxford's team kind of got lazy and did it to some other items as well. They made matching capes for the bandanas. We got the green, the black, and the red right here. And you guessed correctly. Guess what they did with those items? If we just hover over the bandana and the cape again, they do the exact same thing. The only difference is one gives you health and the other gives you energy instead. So let's clean up this list a little bit more. Let's get rid of that, get rid of this, and get rid of that. Now the list doesn't look like it's gonna hurt our brains anymore, am I right? But now I feel like everything's getting a little repetitive. So let's take a look at the swan glasses that you unlock in the second C. I think these items are actually actually really good. Take a look at these stats. You got 25% movement speed, all bonus damage, and all skill cooldown with damage reduction. Then you got extra energy and health. What more can you ask for for a second C item? Uh-oh, guys. I forgot to mention the Bloxford's team got a little bit lazy. We got the spiky coats now, and of course, there's three different colors that do the same exact thing. If you're wondering what they do, take a look. We got 7.5% all damage, 200 energy, and 200 health. And yes, the blue one does the same, and so does the red. But because 7.5% bonus damage on everything isn't that bad, it's gonna go to the mid tier. We're gonna go ahead and throw all three of those capes there. But speaking of capes, there is actually the first mythical cape in the game that you can unlock in the second C. And believe it or not, it is actually really good. The reason why you don't see people using it so often is because it is extremely difficult to unlock. If you guessed we were talking about the dark coat, you would be correct. This item, I believe, is a god tier item. Or at least so you may think. For being the first mythical accessory in the game, it's still under good tier. It's not actually god tier. As Bloxfruits updates their game, they add a lot more better items. It's a shame to see a piece of history just fall off like that. If you're wondering what accessory took its place and overtook it, well, let me show you. It's this bad boy right here. It's the pale scarf. 
Everybody knows where this goes. This goes straight into the god tier. I mean, just look at those stats, boys. You got 15% bonus block through damage, 15% sword damage, two free instinct dodges, and you get insane larger vision. No other accessory gives you that kind of vision. And not only that, it gives you some drip too. I'm sorry, but I have to roast this item. This item is going straight into the trash tier. No questions. This item only does one thing, and it gives you 50% health regeneration. That's it. But now let's talk about some special event items that were limited time. We actually got the Cupid's coat here, which belongs in the good tier. It's basically the same thing as pale scarf and dark coat that just had a baby. It's literally above dark coat, but it's below the pale scarf, so it's gonna stay in good tier. Same thing with these glasses. They're pretty good too, but they're not better than the pale scarf, even though they do two different things. And the elf hat and the Santa hat were actually two worse versions of these two items. This last limited item was actually kind of good and kind of bad. Everybody that owns it is probably probably max level now, which means it's completely useless to them. The reason being is look at its stats. It gives you an XP level boost and an XP mastery boost, which of course does help you grind, but kinda after that it's useless. So unfortunately it's going in the trash tier. Something that caught my eye right away is the musketeer hat. This right here is actually really good if you're a gun main. In my other personal favorite hat accessory, this is the pilot helmet. This goes straight into god tier. Nearly everybody in the third C uses this this item or this item. I don't see anybody else using anything else usually. The reason being is because how much speed the pilot helmet gives you. 130% movement speed. The other three things on this list, the health regeneration, energy, and just extra health is just a little bonus. But the main star of the show here is the movement speed. Oh, I actually missed the holiday cloak. This right here goes into the mid tier with the other Christmas event stuff. Huh? Now we gotta clean up some more. The chopper hat, nobody ever uses unfortunately. This is like one of the only accessories in the game I believe believe that gives you any sort of lifesteal. So when you pair this up with Sanguine Art, it's actually not that bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into between like good and mid tier. I'd probably say mid tier. And like usual, you don't see people using these third C items at all. So we're throwing these straight into the trash tier. Same thing can be said with this top hat straight into the trash tier. Believe it or not, I don't see a lot of people using this accessory in the second C, but it is actually really solid for the second C to grind with, especially if you're doing Buddha and swords. Look at those stats. You get some bonus melee and sword damage and of course you get some skill cooldown as well if you're still grinding in the second seas i would use that and the zebra cap's not half bad either so it's gonna go in the mid tier as well this piece of garbage tried to hide from me that's going straight into the trash tier same thing with the crown that's going straight into trash as well as you guys can see we're almost done with this list but you can see a lot of items in the trash tier a lot of accessories that people do not typically use especially when you're at the end game there's only about two to three maybe four accessories that are gonna be here. But speaking of the third accessory, we have Indra's crown. In other words, it's known as the Valkyrie helmet, but this has 15% sword damage and extra energy and health. That item is very, 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 very common with Buddha spammers, but of course it is really strong, so it's going straight into god tier. Oh yeah, but don't forget, I didn't keep you guys in the dark about that little secret I mentioned earlier, right? Huh? We're gonna talk about that one item that got removed from the game. If you've been playing blocks for, for a long time, you would notice it's this weird looking cape over here. You've probably never even seen a single person in game ever wearing this. If we take a look at the wiki, it's not even in the first C, second C, third C, or even an event item. It's none of those. It's actually its own tab over here. It's an admin item. So if we click on it, it will give us some more details. But before we do, look at the stats. It's only got 5% all damage, 200 energy, and 200 health. That doesn't sound like an admin item to me. But when you click on it, it has a secret effect right here. It says custom ability and then they say it's broken for now. Huh? I'm not sure what they mean by for now as if it's gonna come back. We don't know yet. So now let's take a look at the juicy details. They're gonna tell us everything to know about this cape. It says right here, this cape was made for a crew called Diamond Syndicate. It was a crew that won a tournament back in 2019 and it was hosted by E. I'm not really sure who that is. That might be one of the admins or one of the devs or something. But as a reward for winning the tournament, they got this cape. Huh? Everybody in the crew actually got this cape right here. And it's really cool because this cape was actually custom made. There's nothing in the game that it was referenced from. It was all made from scratch. They got their crew logo on the back and everything. Look at the details on the sleeve and on the shoulders here too. It's really nice. But not only did the crew members get the coat, huh? the owner of the crew actually got a secret admin command right here. It says slash disguise. And apparently, not too long after receiving it, it got uh. removed from the game. According to the rest of the wiki, the owner of the crew or something tried to sell it for Robux, which is just abusing 
something gets power. When a dev gives you something special, you guys shouldn't take advantage of it and just try to sell it on the market for money. That's messed up. Personally, I would think that's priceless and I would never even try to sell it to begin with. So this cape actually belongs in its own tier. I put it in the question tier mark because we don't know too much about this cape. And I'm sure some of you have never even heard of this, of course. But now we have to go back to the normal items. Here we got the Kitsune event items and the Leviathan event items left. First up, we're going to be talking about the Leviathan crown here. This is actually a really good item and will probably help you in the future in the long run. Because, you know, Bloxworth is always adding updates about C events usually. And this is the only item in the game that I believe that gives you 40% material drop chance from C events. So if you're hunting for Leviathan hearts or anything like that, huh? that would be a perfect item for you. And it will probably help even more in the future when they add more C events. So it's not really a PvP item, but it's definitely a grinding item. The Shark Tooth necklace is actually pretty underwhelming, so I think it goes under trash. I would give it mid, but I'm honestly gonna give mid to the Terror Jaw. This is like a downgraded version of this next item I'm about to show you. The Leviathan Shield. This right here is a monster. It is the second mythical accessory to ever be added to the game, and of course, it's got some crazy defense stats because it's a shield. You got some defense against melee, sword, gun, and of course, you get 90% water damage reduction having shark race is like minus 100 percent so this is crazy you could basically have the shark race in one and if you keep dying to the sea events such as the leviathan or sea beasts or any of that stuff this thing will help you out a ton you get 30 percent defense against those animals and then you get a thousand extra health if that's not strong enough for you so personally for a grinding item i think this is a god tier grinding item definitely not a pvp item unless you like to use it as a pvp item but just know you're probably going to be up against these three users here. Now we're down to the last two. These two Kitsune event items aren't that bad, but aren't that great either. You have the Kitsune mask, which is kind of a like little downgrade of the pale scarf in my opinion. It doesn't give you 15% damage, instead it gives you 10%, but it does give you two instinct dodges just like pale scarf. The fruit meter regen will be helpful if you use fruits like Kitsune, but won't help you if you use anything like dough. And the clear vision and dark sea is nice and all, but that's not really gonna help you in PvP and the seven 50 health isn't very much. So I think it's pretty good, but it is not really great compared to the Pale Scarf. And to be honest, I think the Kitsune Ribbon is just all over the place. Like, I don't even know about these stats, bro. You got 10% damage reduction from Blocks Fruits, 15% health regeneration, 30% movement speed, 7 dash speed. I've never even heard of dash speed. And then you get 25% flash step cooldown, 2500 energy. It's just a bunch of random stuff that doesn't really synchronize well together. So yeah, you can consider it good, but I don't know. I think it's kind of mid because it's kind of just a bunch of random stuff. I think this is where we end the list, boys. Do you think this tier list looks pretty good? Let me know what you guys would change down below or what you guys would add to this list. But with that being said, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And also, click on one of these videos on the screen. YouTube says you might like it. Peace.